Hey, what's up, guys? Man, Coach Rick here. RDA. Chica baby. here, too. Chica's in the house here. Let's start over, man. We uh, here we go. Just cut it from here. What's up, guys? Your man, Coach Rick. I'm trying to look right into the camera. There we go. Um, we wanted to come on here real quick. Uh, this is going to be part of our series um, with the basic or fundamental boxing techniques. Uh, we wanted to come on and start covering some other things that are important when you start training, especially if you're new to boxing or if you're a novice or, you know, even intermediate. We're going to show you how to wrap hands uh, with the standard hand wraps, not the gauze that you would use for a pro uh, hand wrap. And I, I do know for competition, yes, you can use gauze to wrap hands for amateur competition, but for the purposes of this, we're going to just show you how to use your standard uh, hand wraps that you would buy from RDX Sports and um, how to wrap your hands uh, as the fighter so you get an idea of the importance of uh, protecting the, the metacarpals, the bones right in here, um, the knuckles in the front uh, here, and also your wrist. You know, we're teaching you to keep your wrist tight and, and your fist tight when you throw your punches, but it happens when you first start out uh, where the wrist gets bent. So we're gonna show you how to secure that wrapping the hands. Actually, Chica's gonna show you because she's the master when it comes to wrapping hands. Wrapping hands. I'm not the master. All right, so you just put your finger, your thumb through the little loop. Uh, the part that's this side down, you actually want face down on your wrist. Wrap your wrist once, go around where the bone's at, wrap it twice. And then on the second time, you want to bring it up diagonal towards your pinky. You're going to wrap underneath your knuckles and wrap over top once, twice, and on the second time, just bring it back diagonal down to where you started, where your wrist bone is at. Once you bring it under your wrist, wrap the thumb. I make a fist so that way I know I'm actually getting the knuckle here. And then I wrap back around on the wrist and back up diagonal toward the pinky. I'm going to go through the finger and what I do is I make a little circular motion here and I bring the hand wrap over top. I don't bring the hand wrap underneath because that causes too much hand wrap underneath and it just causes cramping while you're actually punching. So bring it over back, back over top, make sure it's neat and you bring it back towards your wrist like so. Wrap your wrist one more time and you bring it diagonally towards your pointer finger. Do the same exact thing, just a little circular motion on the outside so that way you cover the knuckle, diagonal back down toward the wrist, and up to the, through the middle finger. And what I do is I go back toward the pinky one more time. You get more protection on your pinky. Bam, like so. Make sure it's neat. Make a fist, make sure you're, you're wrapping good, nice and tight. Bring the hand wrap back down toward the wrist. I'd wrap the wrist one more time just so that way you get a little more extra protection. I bring it down a little further toward the arm and then this is where you make your X. And then cover the wrist, make it look nice and neat. Make another X over this way, like so. Now question, do you, when you're wrapping your hand, do you open your fingers up like, a, yeah, and then squeeze during, as you're I doing do. it? I do, yeah. So On and off during the course on of On and off, yeah. When you bring the, the, the hand wrap over top, you, you want your fingers open so that way you're not wrapping too tight. And then once you bring it underneath, close, make a fist so that way you know it's tight and you actually got protection. And then just toward the end, finishing up, you bring it back down, make, make an X, and then just finish up pretty much on the wrist. Now when you're wrapping the wrist, you wanna, I guess you're not wrapping it so tight that it's cutting off your circulation, correct? No, you don't do that. Um, just wrap it where it's snug. You should know where it's tight, where it's not. Um, and then just bring it up towards your arm, provides a little more protection and finish up like so. And then on the end, you see there's a little opening here. That was because we didn't wrap the hand wrap going straight down underneath. So you just bring it up, gives your fist a little breathing room, tuck this kind of like a professional hand wrap with gauze you would do. And then you're able to just make a fist and something to hold on to.